Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find the partial differentiation of implicit function using Jacobian method where y1 is given as x2 x3 by x1, y2 is x3 x1 by x2 and y3 is x1 x2 by x3. And we have to find dou of y1, y2, y3 by dou of x1, x2, x3. And here we are going to use determinant and the first element is dou y1 by dou x1 then below dou y2 by dou x1 then dou y3 by dou x1 then dou y1 by dou x2 then dou y2 by dou x2 then dou y3 by dou x2 and third column dou y1 by dou x3 dou y2 by dou x3 and dou y3 by dou x3 so this determinant we have to evaluate let's find all the partial differentiation and fill the determinant so first one y1 with respect to x1 so x2 x3 are constant and x1 differentiation is minus 1 by x square so now we get x2 x3 as it is into minus 1 by x square then y1 with respect to x2 here x3 and x1 are constant so x3 by x1 will come as it is so here x3 by x1 then this is y1 with respect to x3 so x2 and x1 are constant so x2 by x1 will come as it is x2 by x1 then y2 with respect to x1 so x1 differentiation is 1 so x3 by x2 so here it is x3 by x2 then with respect to x2 this will become minus 1 by x square and numerator will be as it is so minus x3 x1 by x2 square then with respect to x3 x1 and x2 are constant that will be as it is x1 by x2 then coming to partial derivative of y3 with respect to x1 x2 by x3 will come as it is because that is constant x2 by x3 then with respect to x2 x1 by x3 will come because that is constant then with respect to x3 minus 1 by x3 will come so numerator will be as it is so minus x1 x2 by x3 whole square so we got the determinant now we have to evaluate this so usual method expanding along row 1 this is one anyway so let's take the first element that is minus x2 x3 by x1 square bracket open we have to multiply these two and there are two negative so it will become positive x3 x1 by x2 square into x1 x2 by x3 square then minus of x1 by x3 into x1 by x2 then second element we have to take minus x3 by x1 minus x3 by x1 into then we take x3 by x2 into minus x1 x2 by x3 square and we keep a minus sign here then minus of x2 by x3 into x1 by x2 then third element we have to take x2 by x1 with plus plus x2 by x1 bracket open then here we have to multiply these two x3 by x2 into x1 by x3 x3 by x2 into x1 by x3 
then minus and already there is a minus so it will become plus x2 by x3 x2 by x3 into x3 x2 sorry x3 x1 by x2 square so we completed the expansion now we have to simplify this when we multiply this outside term here denominator x1 square we can cancel with both the x1 square term so we will be having x2 x2 this also square we can cancel with this and x3 x3 so everything gets cancelled we left with minus 1 then if I multiply this here again it will become plus 1 then when I multiply x3 x1 with this once again all the terms get cancelled we get plus 1 then when I multiply x3 by x1 here again x3 x3 x1 x1 x2 everything gets cancelled we get plus 1 so after the expansion all the terms are getting cancelled so we left with only one here one negative and positive after cancelling this our answer is totally four